You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a new face for Greater Brockton. I have Sandy Tapalian from the Brain Injury Association of Massachusetts. Did I get it right? You got it right. Okay. Welcome to Greater Brockton. Thank you very much. Nice, it's a pleasure to be here. Nice to have you here. I I hadn't heard of your organization, so I'm, now I'm glad I, ha I have, mm -hmm. and we can help you promote a wonderful event that's coming up here in the City of Champions in early April. Absolutely. We'll talk about date, time, place, all of that in a minute, but okay. I think I want to ask you first about the group, okay? okay. Um, if you're watching the show um, on our wide shot, we have some of the artwork that different members of the group mm -hmm. have done that's going to be on display, but um, it says BIA-MA. Tell us about it. BIA America is our national organization, and BIA-MA for Massachusetts is the affiliate for the state. So many of the states have affiliates of the national organization. Ours was one of the first. Mm -hmm. uh, it started about 19, 1982 by a group of parents sitting around the proverbial dining room table mm -hmm. trying to find services for their children, and it's grown to this organization now. It started with a couple of volunteer employees and now we have about 25, 28 employees. Our corporate office is in Westboro. Okay. We have two regional offices, one in Pittsfield, the western part of the state. Uh, my office, which is the southeastern regional office, is in East Wareham. Okay, not too far and from we, here. No, we serve the south coast, Cape Cod, and the islands. And what type of services do you provide? What, uh, you know, you talked about it started with parents for services for their children. That's Is right. it just kids? Is it adults? It's Tell me. everybody. Okay. Anybody with, um, you've heard the term traumatic brain injury, which is a bang to the head. Mm -hmm. um, we serve people with non-traumatic brain injuries, which are strokes, brain tumors, aneurysms, just a loss of oxygen to the brain. Mm -hmm. And... We provide education to the people. We try to promote awareness, as in this event that's coming up. Uh, we do trainings for people around the state and advocacy for programs for people with brain injuries. And it could get easily lost in the shuffle because if you think about all the different health-related causes, you know, heart month, breast cancer, right. prostate, you that's know. Right. I, like I said, I'm really glad we found you, or you found us, and we can help you promote it because, um, you know, the nice thing about cable TV is it's free. It doesn't cost anything. You don't have Perfect. to pay for a spot on Perfect. here, and we're going to talk some more later about getting some public service announcements so we can help you build that, awareness. That would be wonderful. And uh, we'll bring you back uh, for a longer show. We'll, I think maybe we'll focus on doing a whole whole show. We'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk about that. I look forward to that. But let's talk about your event. You have a unique event coming, okay? Um, Philip Hosaurus, who I know from Brockton Public Library, a long-time Brockton area Absolutely. person, uh, has been involved with all sorts of poetry events here in, in the City of Champions and elsewhere. But on April 5th, there's going to be, a, okay, let me see if I get it right, a reading, a viewing, and there's going to be a, an entire month-long exhibit. And yes. the event is over at our Brockton Public Library, yes. which I'm proud of because I'm on the board. I'm oh. the chair. Well, thank that was you my for first job. <laughs> that was my first job when I was 15. Before really? anyone knew me as the cable guy, I was the guy that used to fetch the books. Back in wow. the day, you'd go fetch them in the back room. You'd have a buzzer and a little okay. Dewey Decimal System and, and do it. And then I've before been on the, the board computers. for 20 years. Yeah, it's, everything's computerized. Yeah. It's the place people go for that. Yes, yes. But we're glad we have art in the library. We're working on music in the library. And the, a lot of that poetry has taken place in the past in the library. Right. Tell us about this event. This, this is very unique. Philip came to me with an idea a couple of years ago and asked me, would I have our survivors and caregivers create pieces of artwork so his poets could gain inspiration from that artwork, wrote, write poetry that goes with it, and then we could have an exhibit, and he was able to secure the Brockton Public Library um, I guess it's the Dis Driscoll Gallery. The Driscoll Gallery, yes. right. Yes, and it was a wonderful location for what we did. Very light, airy, big room. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, we have about 70 pieces of art. 
and I'm going to read this because I don't know these names. Okay, sure. Uh, poets from across the region um, will select an art piece that inspires them or write a poem about the art. So we have um, Margaret Guzman Bavard from Brandeis, uh, Fred Marchand, Professor Fred Marchand from Suffolk, Jim Bronson from Johnson and Wales and Providence, and a few others who are quite prominent in the poetry arena. And we have our own Phil Hasoris, who's very prominent in our local and the statewide who poetry. Who definitely can express himself with poetry. He's not, he's, not, he's not a favorite of, on TV. He, he, TV. No, my like joke with TV is all my friends think I have a face for radio. So oh, yeah. okay, so I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't blame Phil well, at all. Well, he would but be the, able to do this much better than I. Oh but, no, 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 no. But um, he has this gift of not only writing the poetry, but being able to teach people how to feel and write the poetry as well. And he's run workshops for our people. Now these are a few of the pieces that are in the show. This one is done by a person with. Uh, a brain injury who was also a quadriplegic mm -hmm. uh, and these two are by survivors this woman is a stroke survivor and mm -hmm. she wrote the poem and then found pictures in a magazine to go with it we're going to get a shot of that too besides you know, okay. you having it you there want, so you, you don't have to it hold it up okay. but you have something on the desk that interests me and this okay is, there's a this mask is, tell us about the mask we did a mask project with um our survivors and caregivers. Mm -hmm. We just gave them a mask and said, whatever you're thinking at this moment. And everyone looked at this and said, oh, it's Kiss, and, and well, it's not. Okay. These lines represent the monitor that she stared at all the time her son was in the hospital in a coma. And she said, it's the only way I knew that my son was alive. That's so this was a lasting impression for her. Okay. And we will have a poet, I'm sure, choose this, be inspired by it, and write the poetry. So this is a really good association for you with, with your organization and the, great fit. And, and the poets, and it's a great fit. Um, how would people find out more about your organization in specific, like a, a website or a telephone number? We have www.biama.org. Yeah. Okay, and for those old-fashioned people that old want to make a call. The old-fashioned people, 508-743-0333. Yeah. That's easy to remember. It is. That's why we have it. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to help you promote this. That would um, be wonderful. I'll be in touch with you about getting some PSAs because every time we do a break on TV, we don't do a commercial break. We do ah, a public PSA. service spot. Perfect. Okay, many and events at some up. point we're going to do PSA Day. Now, you're down in Wareham. I know the guy that runs Wareham Cable, so oh, who good, knows? Maybe good, we good, can good. promote it far and wide and oh, get this out great. to all, all all the people. Yeah. Any final thoughts that you might have? Well, Believe it or not, we're at the almost at the I nine I can imagine, minutes. yeah. We're at um, the Brockton Public Library from April 1st through the 29th with the exhibit, um, and the reception will be April 5th from noon to 5. Mm -hmm. The beginning of the reception will give people a chance to look at all the work. And then the poets will do their readings next to the picture, and hopefully the artists will be able to be there as well. Well, we're looking forward to it. Thank and I'm you. going to promote it with my other trustees, and this will get on and thank uh, you for, for a this, whole month. Thank you for this TV. opportunity. Thank you, Sandy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.